probably was, of course, the lengthy of the columns. There's a very short window between the uh, mention of a contract and then the appearance of the contract. Uh, the last thing that I'd like to say is that I know a uh, G GOP PCO uh, 656. Uh, I'm going to start in Fort Valley. I know that in a couple of days, and we will still be not going to be And I, I just want to uh, assure the candidates that are running to for office in this election that I will deliberately be working against you. I feel like uh, it's been a Thank you. Good evening, I'm Richard Prentice. I've been since 1969. Uh, I'm uh, from Portland originally, graduated in the University of Portland. I was in Goodwill for two years, and uh, to, to a business that I had gotten up in Alaska, right now in Vancouver here. Uh, and, uh, Alaska and still have some more control over it, though I sold the uh, shares of my business. I've never spoken to any of you. I, uh, before, oh, excuse me, excuse me that. I did speak on behalf of the fireworks thing right here. I just met, met you then. I uh, actually was very pleased to have met you. I find you a very fine gentleman. Uh, no saying, I told you to see you. And uh, like I did work on your campaign. As far as I'm concerned, I want to get this whole lot out of there if I can do it quickly. And I'll explain the reasons for that. But I'm very pleased that Mr. Lillard did win, who I'm not supporting. And only to find that this is now the same thing. I'm not here to, to admonish you. You've already heard enough. If I can go on and talk about some stats, statistics about the bridge and how the bridge is going to be safe, which it is for another 40 years, and I'm, I'm not going to hear Frankly, I don't think people are so really listen. Uh, my question I want to ask all of you, including those of you that, uh, that, who I do support, which is Lador, I, why is it that we, you, you have these, these open meetings, and we all contribute, and yet there's no response to it? Mr. Levesque, you didn't respond to the recordings that Sam had for last, last week, talking about what you had said in contrary to what you feel today. And then you have your two uh, commissioners, who are Mr. Hanson and Smith, who support you right down the line. And now today we have Gavel Down Harris here, and she's going uh, to, you know how she's going to support. I hope we're not going to have her. Well, I hope she's going to do the vote. So my point in, in conclusion is that I'm disappointed in the uh, folks I have these meetings, but you're not listening to the people. If you are, you have questions yourself. You bring it up and you have money yourself. Uh, well, so and so about this stuff. Well, yeah. So, I hope to uh, say hello to you again, Mr. Lovett, and I hope that, uh, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not supporting you this time. And, uh, and uh, I am pleased that Ms. Harris is leaving. <laughs> Instructor at the Clark Skill Center, um, father of 13. Um, first off, I have to say it's uh, something very wrong when Autotech has to come and discuss and take the issues on the board, um, which is what uh, my concern is. There, we can talk about the wisdom of uh, light rail and all that kind of stuff, but right now, that's that's not what's important to me. It's the integrity. We promised to vote. Many of you are on the board with the policy. Um, and I talk with my students all the time about the importance of integrity and the consequences of positive integrity versus negative integrity. Right now, you've given us a lot to discuss, um, and I think you can see you kind of lit up the, the room or the community, kind of like a hornet's nest, um, and that's because people aren't happy with uh, what happened, and I'm here to, to voice that support as well. It's about integrity. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, board and citizens. I'm Margaret Tweet, a Clark County resident for 16 years. And I, our family crosses the I-5 bridge for medical family work and events. 
In November 2012, a majority of CPAN voters in Clark County, that's 56.51%, rejected the C-TRAN proposition to extend costly light rail and unnecessary bus rapid transit. Voters said no. C-TRAN policy since 2008 requires a public vote on light rail funding. This is a policy that was signed by Vancouver Mayor Levitt and County Commissioner Steve Stewart and Bill Ganley. Since that is your policy, how could some of you ignore it? Promise makers, Levin and Stewart have become promise breakers. And I thank you, Bill Ganley, for upholding your promise. You owe it to the public to uphold the promise vote requirement, and I sincerely thank Bill Ganley, Connie Joe Freeman, and Commissioners Medora and Milky. Last year's vote excluded thousands of North and East County voters. This November, everybody in the county has a chance to vote to uphold the vote requirement. I'm voting yes for a countywide vote on light rail and bus rapid transit. I submitted to the board last time a graph that illustrated the CRC Rosie traffic predictions have not come true in the first eight years and didn't even take into account the strong likelihood that drivers will divert from I-5 to I-205 if it's tolled. Tolls aren't good for Clark County. Tolls of $8 plus one way suck from our local economy. How likely are the Rosie predictions for 2030 to come true? What about the Rosie predictions for public transit? The CRC final EIS did not even include up-to-date public transit data on trips across the bridge. We need affordable public transit options based on true demand and realistic growth projections. We need to review options fairly. The I-5 bridge lifts can be reduced, and a third bridge that can truly improve freight, because um, they always talk about freight, but like, we don't hold any freight. That's right. Thank you, Margaret. <laughs> Thank you.